Hello everyone, it is I, Eating Shit Food Reviews. And I'm here with uh, what I'm going to call the Chewy Candy Extravaganza. Alright? Um, I figured I'd do this, you know, this is kind of an impromptu thing. I just said, it's not nothing too wild and crazy, but I decided, you know, I have some, um, some kind of chewy candies. You know, both contemporary and favorites and um, um, classics from the past here that I came across. Just through some this and that and the other events, okay? And I'm going to kind of pit them against each other to tell you guys which is the best chewy candy to put in your mouth. You know what I mean? So, today I'm going to be looking at a Jolly Rancher Chews, which I'm going to put, this is going to be one of the modern, one of the modern um, uh, offerings, okay? Something that's a little bit newer, you know, Jolly Ranchers, traditionally a hard candy. Here they have them now in chewy form. And actually, this is really one of the, uh, well, it's not the first time, because as you can see, this bag is severely displayed and, or deflated, right? Um, but this, this bag in particular, before it was open, was the first time I'd ever had these candies, okay? And then I have a classic Halloween favorite, Starburst, all right? I call it a Halloween favorite because really that's the only time I ever got Starburst in my entire life, right? I have a ton of them in my um, Halloween bag every, you know, every year. And then actually this, to me, represents another Halloween favorite, Tootsie Fruit Chews, because I didn't even know you could buy these things. I had only ever seen them rolling around in my Halloween bag, and that was always a real treat. I liked these things when I was a kid, so I hate to... um you know, reveal some bias off the hop, but these were always like a real pleasant, a real special event. <clears throat> all right. So as you can see, I laid out the flavors. Uh, we got four of the Jolly Rancher. These are all four flavors available, constituting watermelon, blue raspberry, cherry, and um, green apple. It was going to be like watermelon, blue raspberry, watermelon, and watermelon. <laughs> um, then we have the Tootsie Fruit Chews, all right, which consists of green apple, I believe that this is cherry, yes it is, orange, lemon, and vanilla. And then we have our Starbursts, constituting cherry, strawberry, or <laughs> strawberry, it's not bright, oh, strawberry, cherry, strawberry, lemon, and orange, okay? Now I'm going to talk about a few things. Number one, here's one thing that I kind of wanted to cover, the, the, the notion of blue raspberry, okay? I feel like now... Correct me if I'm wrong. I, well, you really can't correct. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, okay? But I feel like it was like alive for the conception of blue raspberry as a flavor, right? Like I remember all of a sudden one day I started to see stuff that was blue raspberry flavor. Whereas beforehand, you didn't see any such thing. And when I was young, and actually still to this day, I didn't realize like, like I had trouble understanding whether or not a blue raspberry was a physical thing, like something you could go pick from nature and put in your mouth, right? If there was just like some mystical meadow filled with blue raspberries, okay? I mean, nowadays, I, I, I think slash realize it's a way to offer yet another, you know, yet another flavor traditionally associated with red without having to offer yet another red candy, right? Because cherry and watermelon pretty well had that, you know, and strawberry pretty well had that realm dominated. So how the hell do you, how the hell do you offer raspberry without confusing everybody? Well, you make it blue, all right? It's kind of gross, actually, if you think about it. These things are usually famous for staining your damn teeth, the blue raspberry flavored anythings. Um, <clears throat> also wanted to uh, pick out another thing. Vanilla? Vanilla? Like, like, what is this, right? I feel like Tootsie is really setting everybody up for kind of the, for the real sucker punch of the candy world, right? Because when you advertise a fruit chew, People are going to be expecting a fruit damn flavor, and I, I feel sorry for the poor bastard who picks this up and puts it into his or her mouth, believing that they're going to be receiving, hell, I don't know, blue raspberry, for example, we were just talking about that, or something like uh, something of that nature, and then they wind up tasting vanilla. They're like, what the hell is this fruit? This isn't a damn fruit. All right, so let's move on here. I've talked about flavors. There's nothing real special about Star Wars flavors. It's all f these candies. Don't ever buy them, of course, right? Don't buy them, because it's fucking wrappers everywhere is what it is, you know? Gathering up wrappers all goddamn week. Um, so the Starburst, I'm going to start with these guys. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have a little bias against them. Because when I was a kid, got a ton of them for Halloween. I don't know if this relates to you guys. Got sick on them, right? Did, I don't know. Like, because when you're a kid, you, you, you don't know how to exercise, like, like self-regulation. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, any degree of moderation, right? So, when I got these, I ate them. Right? And I ate so many of them, I got so sick of them, I never bought them again. I think I can remember very, very long ago getting, like, a single square, like, 
package of Starburst every so often. <laughs> but that went away after a couple of Halloweens that I can remember. Um, so I haven't eaten these in such a long time, I guess is my point. And the thought of doing so is kind of sickening me. But I'm going to try them again, and we're going to see. You know, maybe maybe I've sold them short, right? Maybe I've dismissed them in my mind unnecessarily. I'm going to go with the orange. It's one of my favorite flavors, really. Like, when it comes to artificial flavors, I feel like orange is it, you know? It... It's e like it always closely resembles the actual fruit, and uh, I don't know. I always kind of I find it to be refreshing. Those are the wrappers I'm talking about. So here we go. Now, mm, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is more enjoyable than I thought it would be. I thought I'd have like a rush of sickening memories, but instead, this is pretty good. It's tart, right? I have to think about Starburst. They're distinctly tart. Relatively soft and pleasurable, but they have like a waxy quality, right? Almost like you're chewing on a candle. There's, um, for being like a chewy candy, there's a lot of resistance in it. Okay? But the orange is a good flavor. Like I said, real tart, kind of like, you know, shocks you, wakes you up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not going to try each one of these flavors because seriously, I'll throw up, but <clears throat> I'm going to have a few of them. I'm going to try this dark red one here, this cherry. Let's see what it, let's see how it compares flavor-wise. And watch me eat these. My jaw is clicking. Mmm. Cherry is tart too. It's a little more dull and robust, but I feel like the kind of the kind of bright tartness is something that really joins these flavors. Um, it joins Starburst as a candy together. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I just got stuck up all in my teeth here. The cherry one almost tastes like, what I was kind of remember thinking to myself, this must be what it tastes like, bite off like a tube of lipstick, right? Mmm. There's some dull quality about it that, that does make it taste almost like, um, you know, like something that's not supposed to be eaten, like makeup. So, those are good. Those are better than I remember. Um, or those, I guess, are better than, than the last impression I had of them, which was, just like I said, child is sickness. Um, they are stiff, though. I do feel like they're a little stiff and waxy, okay? So that's kind of, you know, a bit of a problem. I'm, I think I'm going to crown a winner when all said and done. But I'm going to move on to the Tootsie Fruit Chews. Um, I mean, Tootsie Roll candies, like, Tootsie candies are as old as hell, right? So I can't help but imagine that these must be old, too. I don't know, maybe they're, like, a new shot at this. Who knows when the fruit version came out? But all I can tell you is... Um, because I used to like these, and I'm going to try them now and now again here. So once again, kind of revealing a degree of bias. I'm going to go with orange again because, you know, I like orange. Yeah, I like orange. You know how it is. Mmm. Mmm. Now, mmm. I'm glad I don't have, like, a rigged up mic or anything. It would be so loud and gross. This, this Tootsie Candy... It's a little bit creamier, all right? Less tart, more cream, okay? Mmm. It's not going to wake you up as much, but it's a little more smooth and subtle. Kind of pulls you into its velvety world. And the texture is significantly less waxy, which I like, okay? Mmm. It's a good orange flavor. Almost tasting like one of those orange and clean cream sodas you can buy in a glass bottle or something like that. I'm going to try just... I have to try the vanilla. Right, because like I said, like what what kind of fucked up gross anomaly is this? The color's a little sickening. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks like a tooth. That's like tooth <laughs> colored. You know? So if you ever eat too many of these goddamn things, all your teeth fall out. Just mold these into the shape of little teeth and you're good to go. You got a job interview? Don't want to look like the one toothless fuck? Vanilla tussie rolls, baby. Mm. Mm. That's not bad. Okay, but like I said, if you're expecting fruit, that's not going to be so shit hot. And the lime now. Well, yeah, the lime. Let's go with the lime. It's kind of a unique flavor, all right? Because really, if you think about it, there's a lot of redundancy between lemon and lime. Like, you know, how, many, like how many of the like definitively sour fruits do you need? Why can't I get this thing open? How many of the definitively sour fruits do you need? And I like showing, actually, this... Let's look again. Let's look at the color of this one. It's like a neon green, you know, for like what I felt to be like an old time year candy, right? 
That's got a lot of robust color about it, you know. Mm. It tastes like a key lime soda. A key lime and cream soda. I used to have those. Stewart's brand I would drink sometimes. It's not like an old man. Stewart's brand. You can get a cold pop for a nickel. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. It's actually pretty tasty. Although anything that's like lime flavored, or a lot of times lemon flavored, has a hintest like, or has the slightest hint of, of a floor cleaner. You know what I mean? Like, they always taste like something you would spray to disinfect. And that kind of puts me off a little bit. Now, finally, I'm going to move on to these Jolly Rancher ones. And this is brand new. Like I said, I really haven't eaten too many of these things over my life, so I don't have, like, a strong preconceived notion. I'm going to tell you guys one thing. I'm, like, tossing this around. They're fucking hard as rocks, right? Like, these you can feel have a little give under your fingers. These things, it's like pressing down on a piece of goddamn wood. They're very, very stiff. So, we're going to explore how that translates to an eating experience. I'm going to take the watermelon variety here, which is designated with pink here. All right. And we're going to explore this. So far, I'm going to go ahead and say that the um, Starburst, the wrapper came off the easiest. You know, if we're playing that game where we really, like, compare everything. I'm going to tell you guys that this wrapper is not coming off so easy. In fact, I'm almost certainly going to wind up eating a little paper here. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for your entertainment and judgment regarding the chewy candy on world. So here we have this like little flat square. And it does. It feels hard. It's dauntingly hard. Mmm. <clears throat> now this is really difficult to chew. I mean, if you like the Jolly Rancher flavor, it translates well to this format. Okay, but here's my thing. I don't know how much I like the Jolly Rancher flavor. That like cleaning solution flavor that lemon and lime has is pretty well represented in every single Jolly Rancher flavor, you know? Like you can't get one that doesn't taste like <laughs> You can't get one that doesn't taste like chemicals to me, right? And the more you eat them, the more profound that chemical taste becomes. All right? Mm. And honestly, these are so hard. It's almost difficult to differentiate between this and the like, and the and the non-chewy version, right? It's difficult to differentiate between this and the hard candy Jolly Rancher. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's a click, right? It's really rattling my jug. This is not pleasant. I mean, the flavor's not bad. I was blue raspberry. And that blue raspberry has a big chemical hit. You know what I mean? Tastes like I'm eating a stain remover or something. Well, the texture, I don't know. I don't know if this is a Canadian candy exclusively or not, but when I was a kid, we used to have these things called Mojos. They were smaller than this, but similarly wrapped and similarly textured. The texture reminds me of a Mojo. And those were hard as fuck, too. I don't even know where you get them. I remember when I was a kid receiving one with such like a... Double-edged sword, because when you're a kid, you'll eat candy, right? Fuck, it's like, man, candy? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll eat that. But a mojo was so hard that it would give me some degree of pause before I ate it. I'd be like, hmm. Hmm. I was apprehensive to go with the mojo. At any rate, I digress. I'm going to give you guys here, you know, as far as the verdict is concerned, you know what I'm going to go with? Got to go with the Tootsie Fruit Chews, all right? These are my favorite. They don't have a real chemically fa a flavor. They feel less likely to make you feel sick because they don't have such a strong taste about them. Because even that Starburst, the tartness of the Starburst is it almost has that like floor cleaner quality about it, right? These ones, real nice, real smooth. Avoid the vanilla, all right? The texture's good, not too waxy, not too hard as hell, okay? And they're easy to unwrap. There, go. You want to have some chewy candies, it's right there. I'm done. <laughs>